your favorite song is playing. And you can't help but think that your life is the teeniest bit better, right? A love for music seems to be the one thing that we all have in common. So for each of you, what comes to mind when asked about your favorite song or genre of music? Did you ever really think about health benefits or how music affects your brain when listening to that special song? As a musician, I've always been moved by many genres of music. As I've become more focused on it in a professional sense, I've become reliant on it in order to de-stress, focus more, and to just simply enjoy it. Talking to others about how music impacts lives, I've learned that music helps a lot of people throughout their hardships, and I've always thought that that was a special type of healing. What types of music speak to you? While studying music, it is very easy to get tangled in analytical terms, such as the structure of the piece, phrasing, and the theory behind music. Thoughts can get caught up in technicalities rather than thinking about how it affects our bodies and psychology. Hello everyone, my name is Zoe K. Mendez, and I want to speak about a different side of music that affects all of us, but we don't really pay attention to. During my presentation, I will talk about health benefits towards mental illness and physical health benefits that music therapy can provide. Can anyone think of a positive connotation or experience they've had while listening to music? Personally, I can think of a concert that I performed in where people were dancing to the music I was making and how that boosted my happiness and confidence levels, knowing that I was positively affecting the audience. But on a more medical note, let's talk about more detailed and psychological effects from music. Mental health is extremely important and should always be a top priority. So music therapy was created in order to help mental illnesses. A lot of people are not knowledgeable about music therapy in general. This leads to a lot of people self-treating themselves without knowing the proper science behind listening to music for healing. 90% of the world's population listens to music daily. So because music is a part of people's everyday lives, it is not the stereotypical therapy sessions people think of. Uh, music can help identify or convey emotions and relieve tension built up in someone's mind. So why not use that creative outlet for better good uh, in order to help those who need to maintain proper mental health, which is all of us. Mental therapy can, I'm sorry, music therapy can help uh, with mental illnesses in many areas, such as depression, schizophrenia, and anger management issues. Many people have been diagnosed with these illnesses professionally or noticeably by others, uh, which causes the need for solutions. In the case of schizo uh, schizophrenia patients, uh, Kareen Moosler, a author and Norwegian researcher states that music therapy may be especially important for improving negative symptoms such as effective flattening and blunting poor social relationships and a general loss of interest and motivation. In another quote by a licensed professional music therapist, Molly Warren, explains for often changing moods and depression, quote, because of its rhythmic and repetitive aspects, music engages the neural context of our brain, which calms us and reduces impulsivity. We often utilize music to match or alter our mood. So using music to heal from negative emotions is a proper technique for mental uh, health. This type of therapy also helps with anxiety, grief, and trauma. Uh, Sheng, I'm sorry, Shu Ming Wu, I hope I'm saying that right, uh, is a author and a university professor who did an experiment on a group of Taiwanese college students to uh, track anxiety and depression levels. So in this group, he divided them in half. Uh, the experimental group was exposed to music therapy while the control group was not. So after a couple months of experimenting uh, with resulting lower levels of anxiety and depression, quote, the experimental group experienced the experimental group expressed that they experienced more positive changes, including more pleasure, relaxation, and confidence, and fewer negative emotions. So everyone can relate to experiencing anxiety and how it affects our body without us knowing, or how hard it is to persevere through that. Knowing that mental illness uh, affects physicality, it is the same thing with music uh, when it affects uh, our physical health as well. Bodies hold a lot of power in order to do everyday things. So in experiencing physical issues, music can also provide a service in order to uh, enhance physical activity. Music helps those with special needs uh, in order to use more of their senses and to develop uh, growth within their muscles.
During these exercises, patients are guided throughout certain activities that involves instruments to play with, uh, meaning that it helps develop more senses and uh, muscle growth as well. So for example, uh, when a patient plays a drum, uh, their sense of touch is also used when the stick is in their hand and they can feel the wood against their skin. For muscle development, uh, they use the muscles from the shoulder uh, to the wrist uh, in order to hit the drum. So this also provides a sense of muscle growth and muscle memory. Um, so when patients uh, are constantly doing this action, they work up to in order to play the beat of a song of an entire song. So it's a repetitive action that uh, continues to work on their muscles. Uh, speaking of that, rhythm is also used to create and enhance motor skills. Um, simple rhythms are usually consistent, so uh, they're given to patients in order to focus on because it is a, re it is a repetitive act uh, in order to focus on and to build muscle memory as well. Another instrument that can use uh, to develop more dexterity for everyone is the piano. Um, this also provides more movement in uh, separate hands and is great for split concentration. So once worked enough, hands can do different rhythms and different lines of music at the same time. So Via Seinfeld, a postdoc researcher and professor, states that, quote, playing a musical instrument is a complex and motivating activity that comprises the coordination of multisensory uh, modalities auditory, visual, and somatosensory, and motor systems in a unique way. So in general, music motivates you to move your body. When listening to a song that has a rhythmic beat to it, you can't help but get up and move something, even if it is just your head. In music therapy, many activities include dancing to music in order uh, to create activity for patients uh, of elders, uh, recovery patients, or others with special needs in order to be physical. For example, in therapy, uh, there were patients who were diagnosed and battling with Parkinson's disease. Dancing was a type of physical activity to enhance and promote uh, regulated movement. MJ Drew, author and researcher, stated that music helped in being, quote, consistent with general functional perspectives of rhythmic music, enabling and facilitating entrainment and precise synchronization of movements. So keeping physical is important in many recovery cases and music can help by motivate exercise and keep consistent with the physical motion in order to do it um, more often and to grow from it. So in conclusion, music has many benefits uh, for the human body and psychology. Music therapy uh, in the sense of helping mental illness has created coping mechanisms such as songwriting to release and express emotion to active music listening to uh, enhance mood and calm anxiety when rising up. Everyday people have their own music they like to listen to for their own mental health during stressful and hard times. There is so much evidence that supports music therapy uh, to be a useful tool for physical therapy as well. Activities that involve music help building uh, motor skills, sensory skills, and physical rehabilitation. Overall, music is beneficial for everyone in every aspect and should always be a part of our lives, even if it is just to enjoy it. Thank you.